Hi guys, thank you so much for joining with me. Today I'll be sharing with you some new items that I just received today. It is a Saturday and I'm always excited to receive items on Saturday. So I've put in an order with Sephora for their Black Friday sale and I received those. And also five weeks ago, I've put in an order with Victoria Beckham. So from Victoria Beckham, I purchased one of her new blushes. The shade I got is in Major. And from her last release, the lipstick, the lipstick shade I got is in Spark. It's a really nice neutral shade. I also got her new gloss, which looks like this. It's really beautiful because this component is made of glass. So it's really weighty. And because the gloss is clear, it almost looks like a crystal. Also her new eyeliner called Sea Grey. I'm not sure if I'll be using this today because it's a grey colour and I don't think I'll be going with a cool makeup today because I also got her new lid luster in the shade Chiffon. I'm going to open it. It's so hard to open these for the first time because it's usually airtight but inside here is Chiffon. Now from Sephora, I only purchased two items, which I'm really good with. So the first item, I want to try this out for the longest time now, is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector. It's that concealer basically. The shade I got is in 0N. And also a Natasha Denona Microtech Eye Crayon in the shade Burgundy. So it's, it's a purple. Just look at me struggle. It's a purple shade. I feel like what we have today is close to a full face. So we'll start off with how I've been really liking to apply the Lisa Aldridge foundation. I've been wearing this non-stop since I received this. And the shade I got last time I mentioned is in shade 3. And I've been really liking this with the Le Mer Perfecting Primer and this is basically a hydrating primer. I also mix it with the hydrating illuminator. I'm not sure if this one is available anymore because I think this was a special release during the holiday seasons one year, but I just like to mix them two together to create a really hydrating base. And we'll start off with that now. I like to focus the primer on the middle section of the face, basically the area where I'll be applying the foundation as well because the middle of the face is where I get dryness then going in with the Lisa Aldridge foundation and for this one I used a pump and a half because the pump on this is actually quite small so it's good in a sense you can control how much it comes out. Then using the Dior corrector, I'm going to be applying this under the eyes and also on the sides of the mouth. I also want to put some here, like on the cheek area here to make it more poppy because I got one of the lightest shades. But I might need another concealer for my blemishes, which is up here and down here. Oh, 
it is really pigmented. A little goes a long way. The concealer looks really nice but I don't think I'll be putting it on my cheeks here because it's not a highlighting concealer but it's really nice under the eyes and around the darkness of the mouth for my blemishes I'm going to be using the Ari Perez uh, Amica, Arnica concealer the shade I have is in Latte powder under the eyes and also just a little bit on the center of the face I'm going to be using this one from Clay de Peau, and this is their press powder it's been out on the market for the longest time but I keep hearing good reviews here and there And that's my face powdered and I do feel the powder gives my face a really nice smoothing effect and also it's not a flat matte powder there is a little bit of luminosity in there it's really nice now using the major blush I'm just gonna swipe some on on my cheeks and blend out is that too much? Blend out with my fingers. It is a much drier cream formula, which means it's long lasting. It looks like it gives a stain to the the skin instead of a really emollient cream blush this blush I feel is really nice for the summer because you almost don't feel anything on the face Ooh, that blended out really nicely you saw I, I applied a lot on but just by tapping it it's all blended out now that is really easy to work with I feel this blush is perfect for on the go because you can just tap it onto your cheeks and blend it out and it looks effortless it's a perfect on the go kind of makeup and I'll say it's really good to bring on travels as well because this is such a small packaging and it's sturdy as well so if you bring this in your makeup case on the plane it wouldn't get damaged. For bronzer I'm going to be using this one again. I want to use this gloss just to prep my lips now it's just a nice clear gloss it feels really nice and I'm not sure if you guys can tell it's kind of bringing out the natural colors of my lips I think I did read that this gloss is plumping it doesn't agitate the lips in any way but I think it's because of the glossiness it just makes your lips look really plump I'll do my brows and I'll be back
and now prepping the eyes with primer. I want to swing back to the gloss. I have to say this gloss feels so nice on the lips and it looks really beautiful. I'm kind of deciding what eye look I want to go with. So I just want to swatch these two. This first one is Burgundy by Natasha Denona. And this one is Sea Grey. Sea Grey is definitely a silver, a grey silver shade. I think this one will go with their new Lid Luster in Mirror, which I just put in order with as well. I feel like I ordered these Victoria Beckham items in like switch so I've purchased this one along with the chiffon and I've purchased their bronze eyeliner along with the mirror lid luster so I guess when the mirror lid luster comes I'll use it with this one I think I'm gonna go in with something warmer today so I'm using the Natasha Denona as a base liner and gonna be using the glam face palette again in light What I'm envisioning is I want to do a hollow wing so I'm going to be using this eyeliner as a cream base like I said before but then later on using the shadow to create a wing shape but leaving at the middle I'll do it and you'll see. This liner, I have to say, I'm not a huge fan because it does tug. It's hard to control because it tugs the eyes. I'm not sure how much I can work with this eyeliner because it's so stiff but next I want to go in with a pencil brush to blend and to smudge out basically. Yeah no there's definitely not that much give with this eyeliner. It sets. You can fluff out the edges but you can't manipulate the liner all that much or at all. We really need to use eyeshadow to create that hollow wing. So what I'm going to do is use that smoke shade, which is the darkest one in the Glam Face palette. And just trace along, oh, just did a boo-boo. There's a name for this. I think it's cut crease. Like that. I have to say it's a bit dramatic for what I'm wearing today, but I just want to play with makeup. I've just cleaned off the brush on a tissue and I want to use this to blend out the edges. There's always one eye that looks better and I'm giving the award to this one today. Since we have the Glam Face palette open, I'm going to be using the highlighter in here, which is called Star Glow. Now I'm really excited to use this new chiffon shade. I love these lid lusters. I nearly have all of the shades. I'm going to do a swatch. Ooh. It's a nice champagne shade. I feel like 
this kind of shade is missing from the whole lid luster range. And now I'm going to clean off the gloss and go in with the new lipstick shade in Spark. Nice and moisturised. That's Spark on the lips and it's more of a rosy shade. And just finishing off the lashes with some mascara. And this is the finished look. I'm showing you this side because this is my good side or good eye. It's not my best work, but I just love playing with makeup and just sitting here with new makeup gives me so much happiness and joy. And probably right after, I'm just gonna clean this off. But from today's makeup, I have to say, I do really like Victoria Beckham's new blush, especially that shade Major. It suits me really well. It probably doesn't go with the eye look I'm going with today because it's so dark and dramatic. And I do love chiffon as well. It's really, really nice everyday champagne sparkly shade on the eyes great for new years i can't wait to receive mirror now the lips is really nice too i've always loved the victoria beckham lipsticks because they're so moisturizing on the lips and the color is really muted to the point that it just brings out a natural flush to your lips so this shade sparks looks really nice on my lips the eyeliner from natasha denona i'm not a huge fan of the concealer is good, it's really pigmented, that Dior concealer. So I'm really happy about that. And that's my makeup look for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining with me to play with these new makeup items. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. And also wishing you guys a very early and happy holiday season. Until next time, stay beautiful and stay positive. Bye.